Uh, we're here with the blood donors, and uh, we're going to do a little uh, on-the-site uh, interview before y'all go on stage. Uh, any any nervous nervous feelings about tonight there, Mike? Uh, well, I don't think I'd call it nerves. I'm having a little problem with my throat. I'm starting to get a sore throat, but as far as uh, being nervous, I'm not really nervous at all. Yeah, I hope that doesn't affect the vocal end of things. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, as, as kind of leader of the band and the head songwriter, you know, I kind of I know you kind of hold this this uh, blood donors together. Does it get hard being on the road all the time, well, you guys? Just, that kind of goes back to this past question. i tell you what, uh, Ross. Yeah? Uh, it's, uh, you do this so often. It's, it's no big deal. i tell you what, we've been traveling. We're, we started out in Tokyo and we're pulling our way east and we finally made it to Athens and we're real excited about getting to Athens. And uh, you both have, your throat it gets irritated sometimes, but you just got to keep in there and hang in there. And I think tonight, ending our tour, I think we're going to do a good show tonight. I'm really excited. Great. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, Athens has become just kind of a music mecca for the United States. And, and Kevin, I, I know you're... You know, you've broadened your horizons and diversified. This is Kevin McGarty I'm talking to you now. Uh, how do you feel that uh, your visit here to Athens is going to help you out? Have you, have you spoken with any other bands around here? Uh, I haven't talked to any other, any other bands yet, but uh, I tell you, Athens music uh, really it was a lot, especially since, I don't know if it was our third or fourth, fourth album, Athens sound really started coming out, and uh, we, we play with that a little bit here and there, but... Uh, but I'm hoping that, you know, down the road from now, people will look back as, you know, as they look at R.E.M. And, and, uh, matter of fact, last week, uh, R.E.M. opened up for us. It was uh -huh. a really good show. Oh, over the Omni, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was a big day. And, uh, we went up with them, and, and they opened up for us in, up in Chicago, and it was a good and show. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Paul, Paul, I've got a few questions. You've kind of gotten the reputation of, uh, you know, the guys getting all the groupies in the van. Uh, is there any problem, you know, you, well, any, any problems with that? I tell you, no. It's kind of formed that a pocket band has to have a set of groupies, you know, and uh, I've come to kind of adopt the attitude that a band is only happy as his groupies are. Uh -huh. and, uh, so you're trying to keep the groupies happy, I take it? Well, yes, you know, Mike's married, uh, Kevin's been through a rough divorce, and uh, Kevin will, I don't know what his deal is, but uh, <laughs> it changed him up in San Francisco. I can't <laughs> the way. Kevin, Kevin's been through a rough divorce. Well, you know, Kevin, I, yeah. I do hear it. it's okay, uh, you, you, your kind is more acceptable. No. I don't appreciate uh, that. Well, anyway, okay, so... Let me uh, tell you something about... Uh, I was talking about Chicago R.E.M. Paul jumped out on stage one time and did King of the Road with him. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you oh, that what, I've seen some shows. It's the best version of uh, King of the Road of America. Oh, that was great. That was Mike, wonderful. Oh, really? Mike came up to me, Mike Stuff, and his, came to Tepper, and he just looked at me, and he just shook his head. And I mean, that was enough for me. I, I knew I'd done it right well, there. Paul, Paul uh, is, is there any truth to the rumor that, uh, you know, I saw it in the papers, but I don't know how much you can trust those, that, that you told told Mike he could just get out of your face because he was a long-haired, commie, pinko fag. How, how did he react to that? Did that did that hurt your tour any with them at all? Well, he, he kind of took it in fun, you know. He got, Pete Buck got kind of upset, and he tried to hit me with his, uh, yeah. with his uh, guitar. But uh, uh -huh. Cool Head prevailed, and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. he kind of took it in fun. He kind of took it. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're adults now. Yeah. You have to remember that they, uh, we're hiring them to open up for us, and they have yeah, to put up with what we're doing. Yeah. Point. And they, they can't say, you know, we're going to quit because we hired them in the first place, and, uh, you know, we're the best thing they got going for them right now. Oh, sure, I understand. Mike, I, I see you're trying to warm up there. You mind if we get a little uh, exclusive shot here? Yeah. You, well, you that? That I, I can't really warm up right here. I'd have to go over there. Oh, you'd have to go over yeah, well, 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 you know, that, I, I don't know if that's a lighting thing. I'm kind of a small independent cameraman. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, well. Well, it's, 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 see, the people are in did, there. Did you have any problems getting, uh, you know, your visa this time? Because I, I realized last time there was a big border check when y'all were going down to well, in, uh, it's, the it's southern parts like... of America. and uh, now, now I've got connections. <laughs> okay, so, so, in the so the cheesy little Mexican-looking mustache yeah. doesn't, okay. Uh, All right, uh, well, yeah. that's good. Well, you know, guys, how, uh, since your last album, how do y'all think, uh, you know, uh, how do you think you've evolved? What what changes have y'all made? Nothing. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is what a friend of mine uh, wrote back in early '67, and uh, I think it's going to be really going to enjoy it tonight. And uh, it's called "Keep Your Nose Against the Wind." <laughs> Give me a warning. <laughs>
as well. Fiji, absolutely no conflict of interest in this judging whatsoever. It's a baby person. It's a daughter. It's a son. It 